Hey guys, as my first official video back on booktube, I'm going to do a tag video. And the tag video is Book Creatures Tag. And it was created by Caddy Castic. I will link her video in the description. And I thought it would be fun considering, you know, it's a Halloween tag and Halloween is next week. And uh, yeah, so uh, I am dressed up for this video. Funny story, I just came back from a Halloween party, so that's why I'm in costume. I am a nymph, fairy, whatever you want to call it. I've gotten Tinkerbell several times. I, I would think my hair would be up in a bun if I was Tinkerbell, but whatever. So let's get started. So what you're supposed to do with this tag is you search your shelves for some character in some book to go with the creature and then I guess you kind of explain the premise of the book. Or that's exact. that's just what other people have been doing, so let's get started. For the first one, which is Vampire, I'm going to choose The Morganville Vampires. This is the second book because I loaned up my first book to somebody that never brings books back on time. Anyways, this book is set in um, a, veil a town in Texas that is run by vampires. Yay! And basically it's about this girl she goes off to college and that's when she finds out that this whole town and everything in it is run by vampires and most people don't really understand that these vampires are running this town. And yeah, so basically she bands up with this ghost and this other girl and they try and fight this power and I don't know, I've only read the first two books in the series, so that's about as far as I know. Our next mythical creature is the werewolf. And for this one, I chose Virals by Kathy Reaches. This is her YA series, and it is about Temperance Brennan's niece. Our main character, she lives with her dad, and he's a scientist for the government, I believe. And they live in some state that I don't remember the name of. Oh, look, there goes my straps. Oh, well, they're too big anyways. Um, and so he does all this research for the government and everything. And they live on this island right off of the mainland. And she lives there with some of the other scientists and their kids. And they have this secret bunker that they go to. And basically, the parents work on a different island. So they're not really allowed to go there, but they do anyways. And they kidnap this wolf pup that they've been doing experiments on. Basically, it turns them into werewolves, and I have the second and third book, and I have not read them yet, but I am super, super excited because this book was absolutely amazing. Our third mythical creature is the zombie, and for this one I chose Zombie vs. Unicorn, and this is by a plethora of different authors. Some very well-known names such as Holly Black, Meg Cabot, Garth Nix, Mm -hmm. Libba Bray, Cassandra Clare, Scott Westerfield, I don't know any of these other people. So I've read a few of the stories out of this one. Um, basically each author is on a different team whether they're for unicorns or for zombies and they're just a bunch of short stories written by these different authors to give you a sense of what I guess they consider zombie or unicorn and which one's superior to the other and I guess at the end you get a choice to choose which size you want to be on. But yes, it is absolutely amazing. Actually, I don't know, I've only read like two stories out of this. But I thought it was cool, and I always completely forget I have this book. Look how cool the cover is. Look at it, it's got zombies and unicorns fighting all over the cover. Our fourth creature of the night is going to be ghosts, and for this one I chose The Kissed by an Angel series by Elizabeth Chandler. Uh, this series follows a boy named Tristan, and he passes away. In a car accident I think yeah he dies in a car accident and his girlfriend survives and basically it's him trying to reunite himself with his girlfriend and show her that she's not alone and that she can get through this and a lot of crazy stuff happens and originally it was a trilogy and then they added two more books to it so yeah but I read the first three books and they're pretty good they're all summed up into this one book but yeah so he's a ghost so it's number five is witches or wizards, and I know most people use Harry Potter or some other thing. I don't know. Um, 
like I've stated a lot, I have never read the Harry Potter series. I really want to, but until I can afford the Pretty Purple Spined box set, I can't. So for this one, I'm going to choose The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I have a book talk about this one. I will link that down below. If you remember, I if you have watched that book talk, I didn't like the book. I mean, it was a good book and it had lots of imagery and it was really nice, but I don't know. It wasn't like grabbing my attention. Basically, this is about these two young adults and each one of them is a magician, which really, not really magicians. They're like kind of witches or wizards because they practice magic. So I don't really know where they fall in this category, but I'm going to use them. And they basically have been trained by two different professional magicians to end in a battle. And so they're each other's contestants and they run this circus and that was supposed to be the playing grounds and a lot of, a lot of stuff happens. Anyways, number six is Fairy or Fae. <laughs> Anyways, so for this, I really haven't read much Fairy or Fae books. I read, what was it? The Fairy Realm. I read a few of those books when I was younger. Um, I really like fairies. But I mean, it's kind of kiddie, so it's not like a lot of people write YA with fairies in it. But anyways, so for that, I'm going to pick the Immortal Instruments series. Uh, ignore this ugly sticker on the cover. But this has fairy and fae in it, and they are actually extremely creepy. I found them a bit terrifying, and since there is rumors flying around that this is being turned into a TV show now, I'm kind of excited to see how they play off the fairy and fae, and I really hope they recast, because to be honest, I was not a fan of the cast for the movie. I mean, Lily Collins, I think she fit Clary very well, uh, but what's his face that played Jace? Not exactly at all how I pictured him. And I really don't find him extremely attractive like everybody else. Please don't throw anything at me through the computer screen. Next! Next is Demons. And for that one, I chose a Jim and Doyle trilogy by Libre. I've actually only read the first book in the series, but I have all three of them, so I will read them. This story is set towards the end of the 1800s. And it's about a girl named Gemma, and she gets sent away to this finishing school by her mom. And it turns out that there's all this, like, witchy stuff going on, and there is some creepy-ass demons in this story. The next one is Angels, and I have not read any Angel books, because I haven't found any. The only one that I know of that is actually Angels is that Fallen Angels book that everybody's, like, obsessed with. But anyways, for this one, I'm going to bend the rules a little bit and pick the Maximum Ride series because the whole flock, I guess they're kind of angels because, I mean, they have wings. I don't exactly know if that works. And one of their names is actually Angel, so I'm going to count it. Basically, this entire series about is about these bird kids. Um, they were genetically mutated since they were babies by these crazy scientists. And they have wings, and they can fly, and they escape the institution they're being held at. And it's just a whole series of them trying to officially get away from all these crazy scientists and just try and live a normal life. Number nine is Aliens. And for that one, I'm going to pick Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey. Because the guy's crazy, and he... whatever. It's... Mm. I'm just kidding, uh, this is not actually who would choose for an alien, although he sometimes seems very alien to me because he's just really, really creepy. For this one, I am actually going to choose Doctor Who because I am a humongous Whovian, if you did not know, and I love me some British actors, and I, for the longest time, did not know there were books written about the Doctor, and the 50th anniversary happened last year. And I bought this, and this is 11 different stories, each one for a different doctor by a different author, and this one there's only like two, no there's three authors that I noticed, there's like, there's one by Patrick Ness, one by Rochelle Mead, oh, one by Neil Gaiman, and it's supposed to be really good. And I'm just super excited because I love the doctor, and I wish he was real because I want him to take me away in the TARDIS. 
So, I mean, where are my Whovians at, guys? So, if you haven't seen or even heard of Doctor Who, which is weird considering it's, like, a huge thing in, like, pop culture now, which is funny considering there are those of us who have been here from the start of the second run of this series, and all of a sudden it just got all of this hype from Matt Smith, and now everybody's a Whovian, and you just need to stop. Anyways, if you don't know who the Doctor is, the Doctor is this alien and he's a Time Lord. Basically, he does not die. He has what they call regeneration, so if he dies, like if he's shot, he regenerates into somebody else and he becomes the blah blah Doctor. And yeah, so it's really good and 12 was coming and apparently from what I've been told, the Doctor only has 13 regenerations, so we're on 12 now, which means there's one more regeneration and then he's done for for good, but I've also heard that the script writers are trying to figure out a loophole to keep him alive, but then I'm kind of scared because I'm just like, then the show's just going to overrun its course and you know when that happens, it's like, you just ruined it. But yeah, so... Definitely, if you're not into reading the books, check out the TV show because it's amazing. And if you don't want to go all the way back to the beginning of the first Doctor, which most of those are really old and they're like in black and white, go ahead and start with the ninth Doctor because that's when the second series started. And please do not skip nine because he has such an important role even though everybody thinks he's really boring and he's harsh. He, like, you can't skip nine. I need to stop this rambling about a TV show. Okay, I'm done. And finally, the last one for this tag is superhuman abilities. And for this one, this is my actual answer, guys. I'm going to pick Christian Grey from <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey because this guy is insane. The way he can just charm anybody into doing anything he says is not human. I don't think. So it's like, oh my gosh, he's, I don't know, he's, he's not, I don't see him as a human. I honestly am on the side of, I know there's very few of us that think he's creepy and he's weird and why would anybody be with him because he's obsessive and too possessive and it, no. I, like, if I was Anna, that would not work out. Basically, I hope everybody knows what this story is about now. Basically, it's a porno in a book. There's a lot of sex in this one. And I just find the writing in this book absolutely horrible. And this is one of the reasons why I won't pick up the second one, even though all of my friends have told me it's written so much better and the storyline gets so much better and it's their favorite book out of the entire series. But, like, let's be honest, why was this book even published? It is absolutely horrible. It's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. Why would anybody read this? Anyway, so that is it for this tag video. I am going to tag Miranda from Reader Scooter, if you still remember who I am because I've been gone so, so for so long. I tag, oh, what's her name? Ah, I forgot your name. You're Norwegian. I think your username is Supasala. I don't know, we're friends on Goodreads and on here. So, I'm gonna tag you. And... I don't remember anybody. Oh my god. I feel so bad. So those are the two people I'm gonna tag right now. If you guys watching want to do this, go ahead and do it and consider yourself tagged. I need to go look at people on YouTube. So I know next time I do a tag video, who to tag. Anyways, so that is it. I will see you guys next time with the Top 5 Wednesday tag video. Or a book talk actually will be a book haul because October is almost over. See you then. Bye!